Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my extended growing family, thank you for the love and support you send me each and every day. The beautiful vibes that you just bring towards the channel. You know, you're just opening up and letting me know about your spiritual gift and the current things that you're going through, which is greatly appreciated. And I try to help you out as best way as I can. So, it, you know, it's just good feeling when you can entrust me like that. So with that being said, and especially sending out to other people when you interact with other, you know, the other people in the community. So that is so greatly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to you. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings is definitely coming for you. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you feel like you are comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'll have a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the, the content of my video, you're giving your opinion about it, or you're just dropping a line or two just to tell me about the, the uh, impact the gift has been placed upon you. Or if you feel like the videos gave you good information and really gave you some good understanding, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. Share the love. It's all greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And I hope you get something out of the video. And the meditation music I'm listening to today is 528 Hertz Miracle Tone Love Frequency and the Pure Tone of Frequency Meditation Music. I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101 All Empaths. Do you feel detached from your own life? Do you feel detached from your own life, y'all? Mm mm. I was telling my, my, my sister, my extended sister today, you know, I know what you're feeling, feeling like, you know, because she felt the same way too. Like, I feel like myself, but I don't feel like myself. And I said, I understand because, you know, if you tell somebody else that's not an empath that you think, probably think your ass is going crazy. <laughs> you are going crazy. Like, the normal things you probably do on an every, everyday basis, you might be able to do some of them, but you're not you know it is just not it, it just doesn't sit well with you anymore it's not like it's like Ugh, uncomfortable it's just like hey i don't want to do this anymore you know and i mean it's just like crazy and i went and looked it up today and it was uh, about some article in huffington post and i asked you know what what is the spiritual meaning of being detached from your own life you know it's just the things that i love to do i don't even love doing it anymore it's like the only thing i do this the same that i used to do was make my videos which i love doing and watching youtube you know i really don't do as much as the stuff that i used to do so they just basically said that you're going through a spiritual transformation and it's like you're undergoing a spiritual transformation you're going through a spiritual life change and it's just like i've been getting so many visions about things that i'm supposed to be doing or things that i'm about to be doing it's very beautiful and very emotional because it's just like is this real because it's like sometimes i can wake up and i don't know if you feel this way like I feel like I'm in a, in a soap opera or a movie like this is not my life, but yet I'm playing this part. And it, I mean, sometimes it feels weird like that, but shoot, it's like that. It makes you feel like you're losing your mind. And it's like they tell you, you don't, you're tired all the time. Lord, yes, I can get as much sleep as I possibly can. And I'm still tired, you know, working and doing videos and, you know, just everyday life feels like a very big task that I'm used to doing. I've been working damn near my whole life, you know, so it's just like when you can, you know, take the energy drinks and all this stuff, your coffee, whatever you usually take, you know, to get your energy flowing, it just seems like it doesn't work anymore. And it's, there are so many people that tell me I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm not, you know, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. They say because your body has reprogrammed itself. You know, you have wiped out all the karma. You have meditated. And you're just like, okay, but why do I feel this way? You feel empty. I feel empty. Like, even though 
I feel empty, and there's times I've talked to y'all recently, but I told y'all a few weeks ago I was feeling empty, especially when I had to protect myself because it seemed like everybody I was reaching out to help, I was getting their residue of all the stuff that they were dealing with, and it became too much for me. And it's like now I can be talking to a friend of mine. I don't know if it's somebody I'm just solely connected to or if it could just be anybody. I can just concentrate on them. And I'm just like, are you, you know, are you twiddling with your fingers? Are you messing with a pen or something? I'm like, yeah. Like I have some kind of webcam looking at them. And it's just weird that it's like my gift is really heightened to the point where I really don't have to concentrate on it. But I don't know if it's, you know, it'll work with somebody else, you know, somebody else that I'm not spiritually attached, uh, t attracted to or not spiritually attracted to, but attached to, if I can do that or not. But they just say that you're, you know, you sometimes you get mad at yourself because you, you're not feeling normal. They say you're supposed to feel that way, especially if you, your body has been programmed to something you're not used to doing that will happen you I mean you're running around in your sleep so much that you know you left off all the excess baggage so it's just like you have to think about it your body's been running on these things for so long that when you finally get when you finally get rid of that it's just like your body's like running but they have no reason to run and that's why your body is doing that and that's why we feel so tired because it's just like our body is so used to running from fear running from aggravation running from anger or just running off of love running off of happiness because it takes energy to use any of those emotions so it's just like when you're feeling detached just know that you're on your next chapter of your life so this is a very good blessing that you're going through you know, you may be detached from your friends. You may be detached like yesterday was the first time that I was able actually to go in, in a few weeks to actually go to my horror fan group just to watch movies. I Like, I love hanging with them every Friday. I used to look forward to it. But it was like being around them. It, it was just like, I'm so used to being by myself because everything I have to do pertains as at home I don't have to go anywhere to really do anything so it's like being around a lot of people it's like I almost went into a mental breakdown because it's like you've, your body has basically yourself has just been comfortable with being by yourself but it is a lonely feeling <laughs> and they say you will feel an eagerness of loneliness like you know I was trying to hit up some friends just to you know, just reminisce and catch up, you know, see how they're doing. But even when I talk to them and, you know, the, these are people I've been really close with that they've been there through my ups and downs and whatever, but it felt like an awkward silence. Like you can hear a pin drop for a few minutes and never been that way with us because we're all on different levels. And it just seems like, um, from what I'm hearing now that that shift or whatever is, that is went on is in rotation right now it's all in rotation it's like it's the wheels are turning like we've been waiting for this to come on and now it's here and it's is is winding up so it's just like we're all going through something that's basically like a pregnancy and i've always told myself i feel like i'm at my stage where i am due i just don't know what day it's going to be i don't know why but, you know, it's just a feeling that you can have and, you know, you're changing, you're evolving, you're growing. And that's a good blessing. So know that if you feel detached from your life, it's because you're leaving that old life behind. And that's a positive thing. You're leaving the old things behind. You, you're, you're becoming something totally different that you aren't even aware of. That, you know, we can all hope for these things and don't know what's going on, but there's probably so many blessings is coming into your life you would never be able to imagine them so thank your lucky stars and know that everything is going to be okay you're just trying to figure life as you go but i hope you were able to resonate with my video or find something in there that you you know that that you found intriguing so like and subscribe hit the notification bell and you know, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It's all greatly appreciated. So I hope that you were able to get something out of the video. I hope that you enjoyed your weekend. It was my granddaughter's birthday. My first granddaughter is her, 
her, well, my only granddaughter, it was her birthday, uh, will be yesterday by the time you see this video. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make another video. Y'all, if y'all don't see any videos the next day, just know I'm getting some rest, because even though I haven't did any videos in a couple of days, because I did it all in one sitting, I'm still recuperating from all those videos I just did. So, if y'all don't see anything, like, I'm doing two videos, but if I don't do any for the next day, you know why. So I'm giving y'all a heads up. So if not, y'all see me. If not, you know why. So remember, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. Like and even share. You know, send out as much love and positivity. Use self-love. Use self-respect. Know that there's somebody out there that is praying for your better days. Know you are blessed and highly favored and you are truly loved. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.